Hey all, Pixel here, Improbable Garage, and, well, I have Prius woes. And the woes are not owning a Prius, it's my partner's car, she likes it, so whatever, she can drive. <laughs> she spends less on gas, I spend more on gas, it all evens out. Problem is, it's busted. So this has been, we bought this a couple years ago, it's been dead nuts reliable, it's had a couple of minor problems. But she's been complaining for a while that every once in a while when she starts it up, it starts up and chugs and runs really rough and then smooths out and runs fine. I put coils and coil boots in it and that seemed to help it a tiny bit. But then she complained that it's back again. And it finally happened when I was home or when I was around for it to start. And it's a head gasket. Here, let me show you. So what you're seeing, that rough running is coolant that leaks down into the cylinder while it's sitting. And so when it starts, it's got to pump all that out and it also doesn't run properly in that cylinder. And then all of this white smoke, there's a very small exhaust leak at the back of the manifold, like where the manifold meets the pipe. And that's all that coolant burning off and smoking out of there. So yeah. She's toast. And doing some research on these, the this is the second, uh, third gen. The 2010, 2011 especially are known for engine issues that I had no idea about when I bought it. Um, the piston rings aren't super great and can lead to oil burning. That's not what's happening. Uh, the EGR system will clog up if you don't clean it regularly. And I have no idea the maintenance history as far as that on this car, but we haven't done it in two years because I didn't know that was an issue until this came up. And the head gaskets can go, and the EGR system can contribute to the head gasket problem. If it was a better year that didn't have the, the issues with the rings and that kind of stuff, I'd be tempted to put a head gasket in it. But a friend of mine who runs a shop, because I'm not gonna do a head gasket, I'm not comfortable with the overhead cams and all of that stuff. A friend of mine who runs a shop, the price to do it right, which includes having the head checked and decked so that it's all smooth, it's all flat, was going to be two thousand seven hundred fifty dollars. We paid forty two for it two years ago, and realistically, with the added body damage and whatnot, it's not really worth that much. So that's just not worthwhile. I looked for motors for it, and unfortunately, the only motors I could find, because it should fit anything from a two thousand ten to two thousand fifteen, I think. I don't remember off the top of my head. The only motors I could find were 2010 and 2011s, which are the problem years. So the odds that I'm getting a bad motor are unfortunately pretty good. And the cheapest place that was selling a used motor with any kind of warranty was like $1,600, which again, we're getting up into a high price for a used motor. Same potential for issues, unknown quality, blah, blah, blah. Because it's great if they warranty the motor, but I still have to go through all the effort to rip it out and put another one in. So I just decided it's not worth it. Neither option is great for us. I could pay somebody to just rip the head gasket out, plop a new one in, bolt it all back together, hope for the best, and that might work fine. Or that might we might be right back where we were, you know, six months from now. So this is supposed to be the reliable car. Decided not worth it. So that brings me to what I did do. I bought this. Yeah, I bought 15 feet of beige. Beige on beige. This is a 2000 Honda Accord. It's the whatever the high-end trim level with leather and sunroof and whatnot is. I can't remember it now. Uh, has under 200,000 miles on it. Was a California car until a few years ago. So there's no rust on it whatsoever. The You can see the paint's toasted from being in L.A and the leather in the interior is also dried out and cracked. But the guy I bought it from, his 
wife's family has had it. It's been in his wife's family for years. He ended up with it. Um, and he just put a ton of work into this thing. A uh, massive amount of maintenance. Basically had the whole car gone through from one end to the other because it was supposed to be given to a family member as their college car to go away to college. And then that person did something very stupid that I didn't get, that he didn't want to share the details on involving the family car. And they decided they weren't giving them a car anymore. So then he wanted to just sell the thing off. We got it for the princely sum of $1,900. So everything works. All the accessories, the AC, the power sunroof, everything works. Other than the trashed leather, the interior is in great shape. So I need to keep an eye out for a set of seats for it. The body's dinged up and banged up and I don't care at all. My partner doesn't care at all. The peeled clear coat doesn't bother me and it means that she can do whatever she wants to this car, customize it, paint it, put stickers on it, whatever, and it won't affect the value of it whatsoever because it's already trashed paint-wise. It does need one tire, the left front tire over here, balder than I would like on the outside so i'm probably going to swap it to the back for the long for the short term longer term i'll probably replace it or two of the tires just so that they all match in height but yeah it needs nothing seriously after our habit of buying the three-legged dog of cars it needs nothing it starts it runs beautifully it runs great the interior is nice the exterior we don't care about mechanically fine it's probably the nicest car we've bought in a while, to be brutally honest. To start with something I need to do nothing to is just so weird. Like, I genuinely like... <laughs> I don't buy shitty cars for content because I don't have enough viewers or any... You know, there's no monetary value in it for me. But it still just feels weird to buy something that doesn't mean anything. So yeah, Prius is going away. I have multiple people who are interested in it, who know the problem with it. Um, I have somebody who's supposed to come today, somebody else who wants it, two other, two other people who are like, well, if they don't come get it, I'll take it. All in the general $1,500 range for it. So that means if one of them comes through, this cost us $400. And she has a good, reliable car. And the priest goes away and it's all nice and simple. So yeah, not great, not happy, but you know what? Solve a problem for 400 bucks. It is probably gonna be closer to like six or eight once taxes and all that stuff happens. But still, I'm happy, she's happy. I don't spend forever trying to rip an engine out of a Prius to put in an under engine of questionable quality. I don't end up spending thousands of dollars to fix that issue. So that's what it is. Real short video, real quick, just introducing the beigeness, which it won't be for very long. And I will catch you all later. Thanks for watching. Bye.